After high school, John, you spent your summer writing, producing. You wrote like what, forty songs? So how how did that yeah. get you catching the attention of Tracy Edmonds? Well, Tracy was um, she was Babyface's wife at the time, and uh, you know uh, I was really trying to get my music to him, and it was a trip because I I didn't know that the company that I had dropped my tape off of was actually Babyface's company because he had a couple companies. He started a company called. Uh, Yavium at the time, which with his then wife, uh, Tracy Edmonds. And um, I dropped my, my demo off of there, not knowing anything about baby face hearing or whatever, but he called me back and he's like, I was over actually at Motown Records doing another demo, you know, showing my demo or whatever. And I get a call from Babyface in the office of the guy I'm having the meeting. <laughs> he's like, tell John B I want him to come over to my office and come back and playing some of this music and talk about this music. So I went back over to his office and um, he was really welcoming me, man. He just, he, he was like, you you did this? And I was like, yeah, man, you know, and I'm a big fan of you, always been trying to get to you. So put me on the team, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie yeah. the record, was a record exec, he's in the music business as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let me say, when John got that call from Babyface to get, to, get a, to get a call from a guy like Babyface, I know you was just like, like overwhelmed because you know that's big yeah. from Babyface. I was trying to get my foot in the door so bad. Like I was waiting in the hallway of Motown to where the security guard would be like, some days be all right, man, you gotta go. If you don't have a meeting, bro, you can't you can't just wait in, in the in the lobby, bro. Like it's not like that, you know? All right, cool, I'll leave. I mean, it was like that. I was on my hustle and I was really, really fine with the fact that if you gave me time cool if not cool i'll leave whatever but i'm definitely going to get your interest because what i have to show you is the truth and i know if i get five minutes of your time you're going to be like okay I'm, I'm 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 feeling you i'm feeling what you're doing and let's get involved and i mean it was that it was honestly it was so ironic it was the guy who was giving me the most kind of stalling me out the most you know what i mean <laughs> and i was like just dying to get into his office who was I'm that? not even going to say his name. No, we I'm might not go even going to say his name. I'm not going to clown. Was it Pete Farmer? <laughs> he regrets it. <laughs> it, was just somebody, it was just somebody with the time over at Motown. He knows who he is. I right, mean, right. another guy actually, another guy, I went into his office and I played him my music and he was at Epic at the time. He's very, very, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. You remember, remember uh, American Idol? Yeah. You remember mm -hmm. American Idol? Okay, Randy Jackson. He was oh, the okay, guy. Randy. Oh, dog. Come on, dog. He wasn't feeling you, Randy dog. Turned, Randy turned me down. With all due respect to Randy Jackson. It's a no, dog. He turned me, he turned me down, dog. You turned me down, bro. I'll never forget it. And then I had to go above you to get signed by Babyface and Tommy Matola to just kind of clown and just say, listen, I do this, bro. Like, <laughs> how was it when you saw him after that? I'm sure you saw him after that. Oh, and how, how was it? And you know what? It's kind of crazy because he was like, damn, man, really? <laughs> really? Yeah. You know how they act, John. You, know, you know how they act. They be real, like, like you know, I should have signed him be down on that fake shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's, 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 his boss was telling him, like, you know, basically, like, man, you had to just sign this dude and you didn't. Like, what are you yeah. doing, bro? Like, Who was this boss, Gerald Bundy? So, I mean, it's so good. It, it, huh? Who's this boss, Gerald Bundy? What? I didn't hear the question. I said, who was his boss, know. Gerald Busby, at that time? Uh, no, no, Tommy Matola was the boss oh, of Sony. Oh, with Tony, Tony, okay. Time, yeah, yeah Tom, 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 Tommy Matola was married to Mariah at the time, and I went and sat in uh, Tommy Matola's uh, living room on his piano and played music for him and Mariah the first time I ever was able to, um, to you know, basically show my talent to to you know, to Sony, Babyface walked me in. He, he flew me on the Learjet out there, man. Ooh. It was, it was first class, absolute first class treatment from the from the from the jump with with Babyface. I mean, he's a classy dude, and he also does things. He won't really get involved in this unless it's an absolute like the level, you know, that he's the upper echelon level that he's on. You know what I mean? So I felt Obviously. very complimented. Just wanted him wanted to work with me, you know.